Welcome to this short training mission in which you will learn how to assign your multi-purpose displays to one of the three master modes, air-to-air, air-to-ground, and nav. Being in the correct master mode is necessary to be able to use some of the jet's functions, but what we're about to learn today is just a handy shortcut to make your office much tidier and your work much more efficient. Let me first prepare everything. Then we'll talk about how to set up your displays, and finally, how to use them in practice. In order to program the displays to specific master modes, you first have to program three pages for each display, just like we did in the previous lesson. Give me a second to do just that. Once I'm ready, we'll move on. Alright, first the basics. To enable master mode programming, you first need to press push button 6 to box the program legend. The numbers reappear next to already selected displays. Now press push button 7 once to select the air to air programming mode. Air to air legend appeared just below the master mode and you are now ready to assign one of the three pre-selected displays on the left MPD to the air to air master mode. This means that each time you select this mode, that one particular page will always show up on the left MPD. Go ahead and choose air to air radar with push button 15. Very good. Air to air appeared next to the number two in the middle of the screen. On to the next mode. Press push button 7 again. Air to ground is now displayed and this is the master mode we will be programming now. Choose TSD with push button 5. Good. Air to ground is now also visible next to number 3 in the middle of the screen. Finally, time for the nav master mode. Press push button 7 once more. nav appeared below the master mode legend. Let's assign HSI to it by pressing push button 3. Now exit the programming mode by pressing push button 6. Program will become unboxed. Very good. Now we'll repeat the process for the right MPD. Box the program legend there. Good. Now enable master mode programming by pushing push button 7. Air to air master mode appears, but you're free to switch between the modes as you see fit. Press push button 7 again to enable air to ground first. Now select air to ground radar. Press push button 7 to choose nav master mode. Assign Tactical Situation Display to NAV. Select Air to Air Master Mode by pressing Push Button 7 again. It looks like we deselected Master Mode Programming as we cycled through all three modes. Press Push Button 7 once more. We will assign the Armament page to Air to Air on this MPD. We're done with the right display. Deselect the program. Finally, let's move to the MPCD. Again, box the program legend by pressing push button 6. Now enable master mode programming. For the air to air, we'll want to assign the 2s. Press push button 7 again to select air to ground. Just like with the basic MPD programming, you're not confined to menu 1. Let's assign air to ground delivery displays from menu 2. Select push button 11 to enter it. Now press push button 2 to program air to ground delivery under air to ground master mode. Press push button 7 to switch to nav master mode. 
Return to menu 1 by pressing push button 11. This is menu 3. You can easily tell where you are by looking at the legend next to push button 11, which now says M. And if the legend says M, that means you're in menu 3. If it says M2, you're in menu 1. And if it says M3, you're in menu 2. Very intuitive. Really? You think so? Okay, but in fact, actually it is. The legend shows you which menu you will enter upon pushing push button 11 which means you should do it once again to enter menu 1. Let's assign ADI to nav master mode. Press push button 1. Deselect programming with push button 6. Okay, on to the grand finale. Time to reap the fruit of all the hard work of pressing those push buttons. Go ahead and select the air to ground master mode. And lo and behold, with one push of a button, you have all three displays showing pages which you have programmed. It pays off to spend some time on the ground to set them up because it saves precious seconds later in the air when things are happening a lot faster. Choose the nav master mode. Now have the HSI on the left display, TSD on the right, and ADI on the MPCD. The icing on the cake is that you're still able to normally scroll through the display contents using short presses of the castle switch left, right, and aft. Try it now. Okay, enough of that. Now select the air-to-air -air master mode. You're back to the pre-programmed view again. Okay. That more or less covers the general MPD-MPCD knowledge, and concludes this lesson.